Assalamu alaikum. Peace be upon the Master of Martyrs and peace be upon you adorers. We extend our heartfelt condolences to the entire Shiite Ummah for the martyrdom anniversary of our ninth infallible Imam, Imam Muhammad al-Jawad, peace be upon him. Welcome to Shia Waves. I'm your anchor Ali Jassim here to present and replenish your minds with the latest Shia world news. And now with the headlines. Hundreds of thousands of pilgrims marked the martyrdom of Imam Muhammad al-Jawad in Holy Qadmiyyah. Yemeni people celebrate the victory. Shiite cleric represents Muslims in Chile's peace ceremony. Hundreds of thousands of pilgrims poured into the holy city of Qadmiyyah to mark the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Muhammad al-Jawad, peace be upon him. Despite of the worsening of the security situations during the past few days in the capital of Baghdad, the office of the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Husseini Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, in the holy city of Qum, along with his eminence's offices around the world, have marked the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Muhammad al-Jawad, peace be upon him, by holding morning ceremonies with the participations of many scholars, high-ranking people, and adorers of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, to mark the sorrowful occasion. In the holy city of Medina, the Hajj expedition of the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, also marked the martyrdom anniversary with the participation of many representatives of other religious authorities. Imam Muhammad Taqil Jawad, peace be upon him, is the ninth infallible Imam of the Shiites and the greatest miracle of his age enriched and expanded the Islamic thought and Sharia during the period of his imamate which lasted for 17 years. The Karbala office of the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Husseini Shirazi, may Allah prolong his life, has received a group of believers from the Iraqi province of Diyala. After welcoming the guests, Hajjat al-Islam Sayyid Mahdi Shirazi delivered a speech shedding light upon the importance of work linked with worship. He added that there are divine rules that we should apply in our life that guarantee spreading happiness and overcoming all life's difficulties. A delegation from the office also visited the eminent Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Muhammad Taqil Mudarrisi, may Allah prolong his life, in his office in the holy city of Karbala, where they discussed the current security situations of Iraq and its future, along with discussing the crisis of displaced families and finding the best ways to solve their problems. They also discussed the ways of making use of their presence in holy Karbala to spread the culture of the Ahlul Bayt, peace be upon them, through distributing books and holding cultural courses for youths from both genders, elderly and children. An Iraqi security source said that ISIL terrorists in Diyala withdrew from four villages northeast of Baquba today. The source added that ISIL terrorists withdrew from four villages located in the eastern outskirts of district Khanaqin, northeast of Baquba, after targeting their gatherings and their headquarters by effective airstrikes. A Bahraini mother has delivered a detailed letter to the UN offices in Manama about the condition of her son in jail. Ali Adam, who is 25 years old, has been denied medicine and needs medical treatment to save his eye. Ali's father is also detained in relation to the ongoing political crisis in Bahrain and denied medical care too. Ali's mother has pleaded to the UN to press for her son's release and medical treatment. Yemeni people have held celebrations over the fall of the Yemeni capital to the Shiite group in a provocative move just the day after the signing of a power-sharing deal to end the crisis in the country. According to reports, Shiite Houthis occupied the residence of Yemeni Major General Ali Mohsen al Ahmar. Al Ahmar leads the army's elite first armored brigade. The incident comes a day after Yemeni President Abdul Rabu Mansour Hadi signed a deal to end the crisis in the Arab country. The deal, which stipulates that the present government resign and a new one replaces it, was signed in the presence of the United Nations Special Envoy to Yemen, Jamal Ben Omar, who said the president would appoint Shiite Houthi political advisors as part of the pact. On the occasion of Chile's Independence Day, representatives of different religions took part in a peace ceremony to pray for the peace of society and the guidance of the authorities. In the ceremony, a Shiite cleric from Argentina on behalf of the Muslim community prayed for the world peace and the guidance of Chilean authorities. The ceremony was broadcasted live on television and the presence of a Shiite cleric as a representative of Muslims indicates that despite the Wahhabi propaganda against Shiites, political and religious authorities in Latin America have recognized Shiism as a legitimate branch. Muslim groups are denouncing the anti-Islamic advertisements slated to run on New York City buses next week, calling them hateful and cruel. 
A set of six ads with anti-Muslim messaging will begin appearing on September 29th, plastered on 100 New York City buses and in two subway entrances. The ads will run for a total of four weeks, according to the Metropolitan Transit Authority. The ads, which reportedly cost $100,000, are sponsored by the American Freedom Defense Initiative. Led by the blogger Pamela Geller, the far-right group supports what it calls counter-jihad measures. The group publicized the coming ads on their website, describing the campaign as telling truths about Islam and jihad that the government and media ignore. We have reached the end of our new show. Thank you all for joining in with us. And as always, remember our dua to hasten the reappearance of our beloved Iman Mahdi, peace be upon him. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.